Welcome, welcome, welcome guys. It's Mike again. And today I have another detailing vid for you. Behind this garage door, I have a little bit of a monster. Let's take a look guys. Yes. Today guys, I have a Dodge Challenger RT Shaker, AKA Chucky. He's a little bit of a monster in need of some TLC. So let's see if we can't make this monster beautiful. Come with me guys, let's go. Okay guys, these wheels need a deep clean. So I'm gonna go in with my tried and tested Auto Gleam Magma. In the bucket there, I have a full bucket of water a couple of gallons in there with one ounce of car pro reset and i'll show you how that suds up you can see it's pretty much clear right now i'll show you exactly how one ounce of car pro reset suds up in that bucket but for now let's give these a nice little this magma works really well you can see it's already reacting with the uh <clears throat> deposit iron deposits on the brake brake disc there so we'll leave that for a couple of seconds. You don't need too much of that. And uh, let's sud up, and I'll try and get the camera out of the way for this. One ounce in a full bucket. That stuff is delicious. The smell is awesome. The cleaning properties are beautiful. The suds. I mean, one ounce guys look at that beautiful these wheels are going to be clean in a sec all right guys join me as i clean these rims now i do have my brush here I'll just go around the outside of the rims first really nice rims they're coated Nice color to detail as well. Tungsten or anthracite kind of color. You can get in there with this brush here. It's like a semi, semi soft brush. It's got enough constituency to the bristles to do some serious cleaning work, but not enough to damage any top coat or any lacquer. Can get right in there with this brush as well. I'm going to do this one rim with you guys, then I'm going to rip around the car and do the rest and then get some foam on this car. Right, what I like to do as well, guys, after I do the brushing all the way around. I like to go through it. Again, give it a double hit. And then after that, I like to put the wash mitt on it. I've got a dedicated wash mitt specifically for wheels. Uh, and that gets right in with my fingers. Um, right in as far as I can get where the brush won't reach. So, here's my wash mitt. I can get right in there with the wash mitt, you can see. Get right behind there. little method that I've found you know some guys have a dedicated wheel brush which you know does the work as well but I kind of like this more of a personal touch I can get right up in there with this wash mitt and then another once over on the surface 
with the wash mitt. See that Car Pro reset? The suds last for days. I'm going to go around the other remaining three wheels and come back for some foam works. See you in a bit guys. Okay guys, it's that time. I got two ounces of lithium double tap in my foam cannon. It's time for the foam party. Let's get it. Okay guys, car is all foamed and rinsed and it's looking a lot better already. Mm. So now we are going to go in for our contact wash. I have four ounces of double tap in my bucket there. Let's just activate that. foam in the bucket. We're going to go in for our contact wash and see how Chucky likes eucalyptus. All right Chucky, here we go. Lots of suds and we're going to go in with this guys and what we're going to do is we're going to use the nano skin microfiber to go over the car as well whilst we're doing this while we're here just to take care of any of the road contaminants and uh, other debris that may be on the car I've got a nice treat for it after we dry it so I'll give you one more contact splash and then I'm gonna go in and finish this up dry the car off and get ready for the next oh after the uh, microfiber nano skin get ready for the next section in our detailing all right guys see ya in a sec right guys 
for those of you who want to clay your car and benefit from the smooth surfaces and protect and um, you know just uh, the preparation of a clay but don't want to actually spend all day claying the car nano skin uh, microfiber is the way guys I can feel the contaminants on this paintwork it's rough here and then it gets smooth there where I've just done and you can feel it you don't need to press too hard you can just feel the paintwork smoothing out and what happens is when you do this it takes the polish so much easier guys you don't need to apply a lot of pressure you just need to go over the whole car with even pressure making sure that when you've finished one section it's left feeling smooth to the touch I'm going to do this whole car with this guys and I only used my double tap soap that I used to contact and foam wash the car and it is so slick that it works just as well as clay lube so quick tip for you guys if you want to clay your car if you want to spend all day claying your car nano skin microfiber see you when I finish this guys okay guys as you can see it's been going really well it is actually uh, come out a lot better than I uh, thought it would before this stage time for the ceramic slam so we're gonna apply it to this quarter first a couple of spritz leave it for five minutes and then we're gonna buff off so I'm gonna go ahead and bring you in with that one guys so here we go we're gonna do one there one there and one there I'm gonna go in with my Gion bald microfiber I'm just gonna go across in the direction that the air would blow over the car first remember we're applying this at the moment we're not buffing it out yet so even strokes get a nice even covering and we're gonna leave that for five minutes guys I'm gonna leave that for five minutes and um, buff off and uh, see what we what we come up with after that we'll do the rest of the car all right guys it's been about five minutes uh, you can see it's a little bit of a highlight just here so I'm gonna go in and buff this off and see how we do Ooh. so the first thing to notice is that it comes off super easy that is really really coming off nicely guys oh that surface is like glass for something that gives you results like this you would have thought you'd have had to put way more elbow grease into it but you don't the application is nice and even and then coming off it's it's very easy very easy indeed guys oh this is not gonna take me long at all okay guys take a look at that oh starting to see my reflection already wow this ceramic slam is awesome okay guys I'm gonna do the rest of the car and we'll come in we'll come in for a walk around at the end all right see you in a second. so guys we're really in the home straight now um, one of my uh, favorite parts of cleaning and detailing is the interior we are going to use inner space by lithium and uh, we are gonna get this interior looking absolutely beautiful I'm gonna do this door panel right here in fact let me turn you around one sec I'm gonna do this door panel right here guys using 
the legendary inner space um, as you can see you know we've got some work to do that's all right inner space can do it I'm gonna get onto the interior and then I'm gonna bring you in for a quick whip round on the in inside and then a walk around the outside final thoughts and that should be the end of it so guys I'll see you in a sec right guys this panel has been done as you can see it brings it back to a nice factory clean nice satin look to it uh, kick scuffs are gone it's a nice even clean I'll take you around to the other side so you can see the difference this is the other side you can see it's like dry and patchy you know probably well definitely the most contacted place in the car minus the steering wheel and uh, you can see it shows here so I'm gonna do this guys get this all done and give you one final walkthrough inside the car okay so guys here we go for some in final interior shots door card all flattened baselined and nice and satin with its finish interior as nice as it looks guys the justice is done when you smell it it actually smells luscious in here now beautifully luscious that inner space leaves a lovely satin finish all over the car beautiful we'll do a quick uh, whip around the outside so we went in with double tap in our bucket and uh, then we went and uh, foam caddened the whole car gave it the foam party treatment um, we cleaned the wheels first with auto glue magma um, and some um, soap in the in the bucket I think I used well I know I used um, car pro reset in the bucket and then we finished off with some ceramic slam and as you can see Chucky loved it beautiful little monster now nice and shiny okay guys this was an all-day affair so I'm gonna go in with some final thoughts and uh, deliver this back to its rightful owner see you in a sec okay guys time for some final thoughts this detailing was epic this car is a very big car lots of surface uh, to try and even out and um, challenge accepted um, rightfully named Chucky was a bit of a monster but we prevailed guys and we got it done and as you saw in my walk round he turned out lovely lovely little monster nice and clean and shiny and he now has well let's go through what we used so firstly we hit Chucky with a double teamed double tap double team because we used it in the bucket bucket and we also used it in the foam cannon very good product um, and when you're cleaning the car it smells like a spa this stuff is awesome I'll always have this on the shelf double tap by lithium great stuff um, next after using the nano skin um, to clay the surface get the surface all prepared um, you know we went in again with after the contact wash we clayed it with the nano skin and then we uh, rinsed dried and went in with the ceramic slam ceramic slam easy on wait five minutes hazes nicely and surprisingly easy off I mean that you know is a big car and if you've got to put your elbow grease in uh, you know it can really can really give you a hard time but this was easy to use guys ceramic slam beautiful and the owner is going to have some great protection for a while on this car now um, the rain dirt is just gonna lay on top of that ceramic surface and wash completely off for subsequent maintenance washes to come okay after that we went inside guys and we utilized inner space this stuff I can't believe it's this easy to use I mean it, it's almost too good to be true but it is really good guys 
goes on really nicely um, leaves the car in a lovely satin finish inside and it smells gorgeous bubblegum smells like bazooka bubblegum so you know three the hard way by lithium I'm very very happy with the way this turned out um, I'm literally just going to do the tires now and um, I'll give you one last walk around after I've done the tires uh, with some auto obsessed um, satin tire dresser and we will be back to deliver this car to its rightful and hopefully very happy owner. See you in a sec guys. Absolutely amazing.